Hey guys, for today's fun and easy tutorial, I'm gonna start with Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer mixed with a little bit of moisturizer. Next, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with Brune Eyeshadow from MAC. I typically start with the tail of my eyebrow where I concentrate the most product. As I move inward, I make sure to blend out the product so that my eyebrow isn't too harsh. Next, I go along the edge of my eyebrow with concealer and blend that out. Today, I'm using eyeshadow insurance from Too Faced Cosmetics as my base. I'm gonna start in my crease with Soft Brown from MAC. Next, I'm gonna go in with Saddle Eyeshadow on my lid and blend it into the crease. You can use any neutral tones that you like. With my black gel liner from MAC Cosmetics, I added a wing. For this look, I wanted my liner to be a bit more dramatic, so I extended it out even further than I typically would. Periodically checking to make sure it's even, I did the same thing to the other side. Next, I'm taking that same concealer shade from Kevin Aquan and applying it under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. This time, I also highlighted the area above my lip. With the deeper shade, I added my contour. I pinched my brush to contour my nose for more precision. Then blend everything in with the Beauty Blender. First, I went over my contoured areas and then I went over my highlighted areas. Next, with Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I'm going to set the area under my eye as well as all of the other highlighted areas. I do not personally bake. I don't like the way that it finishes. But I do, however, like how it turns out when I simply press the powder into my skin. Here's a little tip for getting sharp lines with gel liner. Once you've applied the product to the brush, gently press both sides of the brush against the back of your hand. This is gonna squeeze the bristles together and create a defined line. Line the outside half of your lower lash line. Also go back in to the inside corner of your eye and extend the line down. Next, add a white or beige eyeliner to your waterline. I like using this one from MAC. Add mascara to your bottom and top lashes. With a small flat brush, add a little bit of saddle eyeshadow just under the area where you placed your black liner. Next, I applied my lash. These are from Lena Lashes in the style Gorgeous. To darken my eyeliner and make it more pronounced, I traced it with this liquid eyeliner pen from Stila. Before drawing on my hairline, I traced the area where I wanted my peak and where I wanted my hollows. Then I connected each mark. This made it easier to draw the line and create symmetry. Next, with gel liner and a flat brush, I filled in the area. You can also use black paint if you have it. I made sure to put the product pretty deep into my hairline so that you couldn't see any lines of demarcation. With the fluff brush, I set the area with carbon from MAC. Once again, I swept the eyeshadow deep into my hairline just so I can fill in any holes or gaps where you can see my scalp. Then I lightly dusted mineralized skin finish powder all over my face. I used the Lorac Take Me the San Diego palette for my contour. For my highlight, I used Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. I applied it to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, corners of my eyes and my brow bone. I then applied Myth Lipstick by MAC and diffused it with my finger. So I actually created this look two years ago for Halloween. When I did this look originally, I used the same lipstick with the intention of creating a pale lip. I also lined a portion of my top lip with the black eyeliner. I'm not sure why I did this, but I do like the way it came out so I decided to stick with it again. Mm -hmm. 
Next with the gel liner, I drew a half circle across the tip of my nose. This time I decided not to bring it completely around to the edges of my nostrils and just kind of really keep it concentrated on the actual tip of my nose. I filled in the entire area with the gel liner and then set it with my black eyeshadow. Next with my angled eyeliner brush and my gel liner, I drew on my whiskers. For this step, you really want to make sure to press the brush against the back of your hand like I showed you before so you can get your fine lines. I forgot that I previously wore lip liner with this look so I went back in with cork from MAC to line my lips and then added a little bit more myth and blended it all in. I added a little bit more diamond glow powder to my shoulders and collarbone. Add Mickey ears and white gloves and voila, here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would love to see your recreation, so don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Oh boy, I look like a real cartoon man. <sighs> what happened?